what is up everybody it's uh this has been a long time coming i have not made an update video or any video in a very long time some of you may know and some of you see all the time i'm pretty active on twitter but have not gotten around to making a youtube video in a very long time so here i, mean, I don't know if i'm gonna really i don't know what this is gonna be i'm just gonna murmur for a little bit as i drive home uh, I guess I'll just give you an update on what's going on with me in my life and um, when I'll be back. Um, so actually, I'll start with that. So when I'll be back doing YouTube basically full time again, like giving you almost daily videos, that's going to start around Traverse City. Um, the Traverse City tournament starts September 6th uh, of this year, obviously this year. September 6th, the Rangers first game is Friday, September 6th at 3.30. Um, now, I think a week before that, so that would be August 31st, is when the Rangers announce their Traverse City roster. So that's gonna include the prospects that are playing, uh, the invitees, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, obviously gonna make a video on that because that is my favorite thing to do is talk about the invitees and the prospects. Let's freaking go. Hopefully the Rangers can win Traverse City this year. Um, I found a website which I can stream the Traverse City tournament on. So if any games go to overtime, perhaps you'll get a nice and early live OT reaction um, as we do during the season with the Rangers. Um, so that's when I'm gonna really start getting back in the swing thing. So around August 31st area, um, talking Rangers, whatnot. I'm not even gonna talk about the Shattenkirk thing. Those who follow me on Twitter already know how I feel about it. Maybe I'll go over it at another point. Uh, but in this video, I just wanna really kind of talk about me and what's going on here. Um, let's see what I, uh, Summer's been, uh, it's been an interesting summer for me. Um, obviously the range got Panera and all, but um, had a pretty, uh, some unfortunate things happen this summer. Nothing, nothing seriously life-changing or life-altering in the long run, but temporarily for sure. Um, starting off with, uh, so I had really bad back issues beginning of summer. Uh, well, I, I would say even late spring going into summer. Basically what happened was uh, one of my hockey games, I had a really weird, took a really weird hit and kind of jarred my back a little bit, had this really weird pain. Went a bunch of weeks without getting it checked out, finally saw a chiropractor. Chiropractor told me something along the lines of a herniated disc. Treated it, got adjustments. After an x-ray, no MRI, just x-rays. Um, and the pain never seemed to go away. It actually just exponentially got worse. Past week I went to the doc an orthopedic doctor and I'm now gonna be receiving MRIs and testing. Um, she fully believes that from what she told me, what she's leaning towards is that I have slipped a disc in my back and either the cartilage broke away or disintegrated. We don't know, it, it could have broken away because it's, it's been like this for so long, the broken away cartilage could have just disintegrated and basically what discs are, and the discs in your back are almost like jelly. So it slipped out, landed right on a nerve and uh, I probably, <laughs> I'll, I won't say bedridden or in, crutches but I, I won't be able to do physical activity probably for like she was saying maybe six to eight months um, so I just um, pretty bummed out about that I just played my last probably my last game of hockey for a really long time I've been playing through the injury for a very long time now I've been in a lot of pain it's to the point where if I sit down for more than five minutes it takes me about 50 to 60 steps walking forward to fully be able to stand up straight and even when I finally, just because of how locked in it is, and finally when I do stand up straight, it's I've, I'm in just nothing but pain. And with that pain, I mean, and I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, with that pain comes a lot of, I don't wanna say the word depression because I'm not depressed. I'll never call myself depressed. Because there's always there's always someone that's got it worse than you, but you know, a bit of a, a bit of a downer, you know? It's upsetting because I wanna, I wanna run around outside and play hockey. I wanna play hockey on the ice, I wanna, throw my sister around and wrestle my little brother and do all these fun things that I just can't really do right now and it kind of sucks, it takes a lot away from me. I want to take my dog for walks. Yeah, what else? Um, oh, my 20th birthday, I, uh, I turned 20 a couple weeks ago. That was pretty cool. I had a, I had a, you know, a nice birthday. I ended, up, I ended up working 10 hours, but uh, when I got home, my family surprised me, so that was really awesome. Uh, uh, rather unfortunately, but this is something I do want to touch on because I, some of you don't know, I'm a pretty big, pretty big in this movement in the hockey fights cancer movement my uh my aunt in new york was re-diagnosed with, can with breast cancer um so I i'm i'm really big on the hockey fights cancer movement i have the big giant sticker 
on my on my hockey helmet I have purple hockey fights cancer tape if I had money well more money <laughs> I would donate it to the cause or more than I have already but you know that's kind of where I'm at I and this is it's kind of like a shitty depressing video right like it's my first video back you guys are like oh my god this, this guy is such a downer but um but you know what I, I'll tell you the uh as, as it were was in my in my uh, grade school years, it seems like the New York Rangers are going to be my saving grace. They are going to be what makes my life fun and enjoyable during this. I know I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm sorry. I don't like to. Oh, Jesus Christ! with my phone. I don't like to drive with a with a shirt on after hockey. It gets all sticky. And uh, but the Rangers are going to be my saving grace. They're they're going to be what uh, definitely what's making me smile and um, look on the bright side, as Monty Python once said in one of his famous songs. Always look on the bright side of life. I think that was Monty Python. So yeah, that's yeah. I'm hoping, uh, dude. Artemi Panarin, Jacob Truba, Foxy, Kravy, Capo Caco. Oh my God, it's gonna be a good freaking season. It's a good time to be a Ranger fan because you know what? Right now we get to go into this season with with no expectations at all. We win, we win. We lose, we lose. What happens if we lose? We get another phenomenal prospect. And at that point, what does it fucking matter? You know. So um, yeah, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at, though. I guess that's uh, the summation of things. I don't know. I was just looking for a reason to make a video. I feel bad. It's been a really, really long summer. I haven't really uh, been working a lot. Haven't really had much time to fully settle down and give you guys the videos that you deserve. I mean, because I'll be real, I've been a pretty, I've been pretty shitty lately. I say it all. I you know. I feel like every time I come back, I say, "Oh, I'm, I'll be back." It's, I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. Yada yada yada. And I'm never, I'm never fully back. But um, but you know, come hockey season, and now that seems like my workload is going to be cut near damn in half because of unfortunate back events. I'll be uh, I'll be in the swing of things for a good while. Oh, hey, you know, I'll tell you one good thing, though. I'm uh, I'm in full swing in med school. So uh, I'm finally on path to get that pediatrics degree I've been talking about on the path to becoming a doctor and doing what I dream about. I mean, my entire life, whether it be coaching or being an older brother or a, a a big brother and stuff like that. I've always worked with kids. I've always loved working with kids. It's been a dream of mine to, to, you know, be in a in a profession where I get paid to work with kids and in something like the medical field, which I'm so passionate about. Like I love helping people. It's just, it's what I do. It's what I love to do, and I get to do that as being a pediatrician, helping kids, and saving kids, and doing all that stuff. I'm really excited. So that's that's a big step in my life that I'm. I mean, I'm in full swing. I'm, 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 I'm going to university next year. We'll see where I end up. I'll, uh, who knows? Maybe I got some su subscribers in these schools, but I'll be, uh, I'll be applying to the University of Pennsylvania in their med school. Um, uh, the, the name of their medical school slips my mind now. Uh, Perlman, I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, the it's basically it's like Perlman Group Med School, something like that. Uh, or UNC, maybe UNC Charlotte, it's close to home, at least that way I'll have the uh, opportunity to dorm and or commute, so I'll be close to home, I'll have less stress, I'll be you know, around, um, yeah, those are the two schools I'm looking at, if I get, now the University of Pennsylvania, as some of you know, that is an Ivy League school, that's way, way, way out there, that's I'm not that smart, but we'll see, I'm crossing my fingers, I'm holding out, it would be amazing if I got into it. But yeah, so I guess yeah, I, yeah. I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys something good. I'm at a total Debbie Downer, right? But yeah, that's. Um, let's see, what, what else can I jabber on about? I'm like ten minutes from home. I got time to just suggest you have it ever do a little bit. What, what else is going on in my life? Let's see, turn twenty. The Rangers are freaking awesome. Med school. No girl. Well, well, honestly, that might be a good thing. <laughs> Last girl was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have their ups and downs. Relationships are good, but um, everything comes with baggage. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Although relationships are the best thing in the world, but at the same time, they, they do come they do come with that baggage. So it might be all right that I'm a little free right now. Who knows though? I uh, there there is a girl I'm talking to right now. It's, it's all right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, you want relationship advice from a guy that's 20 years old and really hasn't experienced that much in the world, but knows a little bit? Do not do not force yourself to do anything don't force yourself to love somebody if you don't you don't and be honest about it because you break someone's heart if you don't i've been on both sides of that um yeah so there's there's life hacks with with cjs 101 there you go oh fuck nhl 20 all right here's some exciting shit to talk about nhl freaking 20 baby all right 
Okay. Woo! Okay. Franchise mode looks sick. Okay. Whoa. Coach, dude, coach, I've been saying for years now, even before I had a YouTube channel, how awesome would it be if you can manage your coaches? That's going to be freaking amazing. Huh. <laughs> You get to fire, hire coaches. Of different, you know what? So I um I can't I, I don't know if you if you go go before finishing what I'm doing here. Take a watch of the NHL 20 franchise uh, overview. Um, basically what it looks like, and I am not shitting on EA for this. I think this is freaking awesome. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the MLB the Show series, the franchise mode seems uh, for NHL seems a lot, a lot like that. A lot like like in terms of management fluidity what you got to do how you got to scout this that, and the other thing and i am totally here for it the play the trade finder is going to be huge oh my god i can't wait i cannot freaking wait i um well you already know the first franchise mode of the year without a doubt in my mind is going to be the rangers obviously you have to do the rangers especially with the build they're doing um before i do my franchise mode i should mention this too i do plan on doing a couple of test runs in franchise mode myself to see how everybody simulates and see if it's accurate to real life. Uh, if it is not to my liking, I will be doing a super mega roster update. Well, I'll be doing that anyways because there's a lot of NCAA players that need to be added to the game. Uh, so either way, I'll be doing a super mega roster update. It just the size is going to depend on how everybody simulates um, in my little test runs. Why is this guy driving 35 and 45? Anyways, uh, so that, that's going to be dependent on that. Uh, but you know, I always record that and I post um, post what I do. The Elgato, I haven't tested it in a while, so it should run well. I mean, it's it's got a pretty good rake. I mean, I can't remember the last time I uploaded NHL 19 French mode. That might have been like way back in like the spring. I mean, it's probably been about four months since I've uploaded one of those. Um, but yeah, French mode looks awesome. Uh, I've talked to some of my guys, so I I don't I don't when I do play NHL, which isn't often. I am in a Division One EASHL club. Uh, we are working on getting a goalie. If anybody knows an EASHL goalie that is capable of playing in Division One and threes, threes Division One, um, reach out, comment down below, send me an email, see just uh, business, I believe, see just business at gmail.com, uh, because we would love to have a Division One goalie. Because right now we're playing against computer goalies, and it's really not fun. It's very repetitive. Uh, I, I even fully edited a, a highlight reel montage for uh, for that club. In NHL 19, but I mean, there's only so many pretty goals you could score against, you know, a computer goalie to where it's just repetitive. So I'm not even gonna bother uploading that. <sighs> Looks stupid, but honestly, a waste of time. Um, but yes, uh, we love we'd love to get in a good goalie here because it's me, my little brother, my buddy Vinny uh, from New York. We um, we don't play all the time. I said we probably we probably get in, yeah, like three to four hours a week. And look, we're not, we don't take it seriously. You know, like, we, you know, when we do play, we like to have fun, we like to laugh. And I would love to make a YouTube series out of it. I would love to be able to record, you know, everyone talking, interacting, laughing, having fun while we play some ESHL, rip it up. My brother's pretty, pretty good at it. I'm all right at EASHL. I score a lot, but I'm not flashy. My brother just doesn't score a lot, but he's super flashy. Vinny's a good all around player. We just need that goalie. So if you know a goalie or you, you know you can play goalie at a Division One level in, e in EASHL. Let me know. I'll get you in. Hockey Ultimate Team. That is a series I'm considering starting on YouTube. I've had a I've had a, a Hockey Ultimate Team. I think Road to Division One title series on my channel before. I think it was NHL 18. I could be wrong, but um, I kind of saw that. My issue with Hockey Ultimate Team is. It seems like it's the issue with you know it with with computer goalies in EASHL. It's just the same goals over and over again, and it's really not fun. It sucks the fun out of it. Um, so we'll see how how responsive computer goalies are this year, and maybe I'll do a hot guild team series. I mean, if you guys want to see it, comment down below. But right now, my ideas going forward for this year of of the NHL and EA Sports NHL, I'd like to have post game reactions for the Rangers. Uh, overtime live reactions for the Rangers. Uh, franchise mode, EASHL, maybe Hockey Ultimate Team. If there's any sandbox games you like, like games similar to like a Fallout 4 or something like that, you guys like to see me play like adventure games, I'm always open to playing and stuff like that, especially with all the downtime I'm going to have. Um, I'm down. You know, you have my attention. If you guys want something or want to see, hear something, see something, let me know because I, I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands for the next next little while so let me know i'm always down um 
I'm always down to try something new. I tried uh, a Minecraft series. I mean, I post on like every six months, like an episode. I could, I could go back and do that, but eh. I mean, Minecraft is making a bit of a comeback, but eh, I'm not very good at it. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. Oh, the the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. When Call of Duty Modern Warfare comes out, the new one, I do plan on playing that game. If you guys want to see a Let's Play for it, I'll totally do that because I do have to do the Call of Duty Modern Warfare full series Let's Play. I do have to finish that. We're up to Modern Warfare 3. Um, I do have to finish that at some point. Or I'd like to at least. Uh, although it does seem like the new game doesn't have anything to do with the old one. So I don't know how I'm going to fit that in. See, oh, turn off your brights, but Jesus. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll call it there. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've talked long enough. You guys are probably sick and tired of hearing my voice. But that's my little update video. I started off a little somber. Got a little exciting at the end. Um, you know, as always, to those of you on Twitter, those of you on the YouTube channel, wherever, wherever it is you guys are, I appreciate your support. I appreciate your support. You know, I'm a pretty quiet person in real life. I'm not as extravagant as I am. My friends will tell you otherwise. But in public places, I'm pretty quiet. I, I like to think I'm a pretty humble person down to earth. But, um... It really keeps me going to support and to have you guys support me as little as I do post on Twitter and YouTube I always feel like I'm being supported when I post I gotta thank you guys so much because you know what YouTube is something I used to be incredibly passionate about something I used to upload I used to upload daily when I was in high school and obviously times change as you get older but I would like to get back into that swing of things because YouTube's something I miss I feel like I had a connection with a lot of you guys up uh, off the top of my head I mean I I got like 25 30 names of Subscribers that used to comment all the time. Paul D. Paulie, Niaminen, uh, fuck, uh, Minecraft Wars. I'm, I'm sure you changed your name though. Um, I could see, I could see all your your guys, uh, freaking um, uh, avatars and names. I have, I, but those are the ones that come right to mind. I mean, just all the people that have supported me over the years and have been nothing but incredibly nice to me. And if I didn't get your name right there, I apologize. But I, you, you guys know who you are. I know who you are. I just gotta thank you guys so much because you make. You make this all worth it, and you make me want to come back. You know, if I didn't have, if I didn't have the support from you guys, I wouldn't come back into this. I would have canned the channel a long time ago. I never even bothered uploading. You know, I I do this for fun, but I also do it because I have support, and you guys give me that support. And I really appreciate that. So until then, thank you everybody for watching this video and dealing with me. Hope you enjoyed watching because I certainly to make it an end. And if you understood everything I just said, you do not need hearing aids. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.